ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर नाउ दिस टॉपिक इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स ओके पार्ट वन इज अगेन द बाइनोमियल ट्री राइट डाउन बाइनोमियल ट्री पार्ट टू इज अबाउट द रिस्क मेजर्स रिस्क मेजर्स दैट हाउ यू मेजर रिस्क इन fixed income how you measure risk with bonds and the third part is about the convertible bond okay so our topic of discussion is divided into these three part now when it comes to binomial tree when it comes to binomial tree i told you that they are useful for both straight bond for the calculation of straight bond as well as option embedded bonds option embedded bonds clear and when i am saying option embedded bonds it include two types of bonds one is callable bonds and another is puttable bond callable bond and puttable bond clear apart from this we have also seen earlier that how we are creating a binomial tree clear two year as well as three year binomial tree means if i am saying this starting from here if i am saying over here is the 5% interest rate we reach to 6 or we reach to 4 clear we consider this as a two period binomial tree two period binomial tree and it is calculated with the help of the forward rate it is calculated with the help of the forward rate clear over here one standard deviation over here one standard deviation clear this is how we calculate the top node as well as lower node clear from here onwards from here onwards you can further draw a tree this is a three period binomial model okay over here you are going to get the actual forward rate actual forward rate after two years for the period of one year and from there onward if you will go down this is going to be 2 e to the power 2 sigma and from here if you will go to the upside it is going to be e to the power e to the power 2 sigma clear this much knowledge i am comfortable with now also understand what is the requirement of this topic what this topic actually wants from you though i have taken you in a very minute detail but the topic okay the curriculum which is for us they don't want you to calibrate the tree okay they will provide you the tree this is the reality they are going to provide you the binomial tree what you have to do you just need to use the tree to find out the value of the bond to find out the value of the bond clear this is my target that they will provide me the tree and how i can value a bond now i have told you the step one by one how to create a tree and then this lecture is telling you more about how to value an option embedded bond with the help of that tree clear now suppose suppose if i am saying over here suppose if i am saying over here that you have a bond you have a bond which whose tree is something like this okay 7% then over here 5% clear i am just taking a hypothetical example there are two types of option embedded bond one is the one is the callable bond one is the callable bond another one is the puttable bond clear so with the help of the knowledge with the help of the knowledge of the put and call you can identify call is call is betting over the upside means they have the right to buy they have the right to buy at a given fixed price you can write down they have the right to buy at the given fixed price write down we have the we have the right to buy we have the right to buy at the we have the right to buy at the given fixed price clear what is about the puttable bond means the one who holds the puttable bond they have the right to sell they have the right to sell at the at the fixed price at the fixed price now when i am saying callable bond when i am saying callable bond callable bonds who is going to be in the beneficial position the in the beneficial position it is going to be the bond issuer who is going to be the who is going to be the 
beneficiary of the callable bond issuer now who is going to be the beneficiary of the putable bond the bond the bond holder bond holder is going to be the beneficiary of the putable bond clear that much hopefully you are clear why if you want to know the reason that why the issuer is going to benefit from the callable bond when that particular issuer will call the bond try to understand the situation try to understand the situation the call price suppose the call price call price fixed call price fixed at dollar 102 call price fixed at 102 now when i'm saying call price is fixed at 102 this means that the issuer of the bond have the right to right to call the bond or you can say right to repurchase the bond right to repurchase the bond repurchase the bond at at dollar 102 suppose the current market price of the bond is 98 current market price of the bond is 98 when the interest rate in the market is 6% when the interest rate in the market is 6% clear now suppose interest rate decreased from 6% to 4% and we know that when interest rate will decrease the price of the bond in the market will increase clear say it increased to 104 dollars say it increased to 104 dollars clear now think it from the company's perspective earlier earlier they are they are paying interest on the bond at the rate of 6% clear now interest rate got reduced earlier they are paying the interest of 6% means i am the company you are the investors you have given the money you have given the money to me i have given the bonds to you so i am giving you coupon 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 i am giving you interest interest of 6% now interest rate in the market reduced to 4% why will i give 6% to you what i will do i will repurchase the bond from you i will repurchase the bond from you and i will give you the money back and what i will do i need the money i will take it i will borrow it again at a lower rate at the rate of 4% which is the current market rate so means when i have the callable bond when i have the callable bond being an issuer i can call the bonds for my benefit why i was paying 6% earlier but now because the interest rate got reduced in the market i want to pay lower interest rate for that i need to call the bonds for that i need to call the bonds and when i call the bonds i will be saved and then i will issue the bonds again i will issue the bonds again at a lower rate at a lower rate so means the issuer of the bond is going to take lots of benefit is going to take lots of benefit from the decrease in interest rate clear but call call is hinting you towards upside betting call is hinting you towards upside betting so you are saying interest rate reduce see callable bond what is the underlying underlying is the bond okay it's that interest rate decreasing the bond price shoots up bond price shoots up so when the bond price shoots up to 104 but still the issuer of the bond have the right to call the bond at 102 still the issuer have the right to call the bond at 102 clear this is the benefit of callable bond clear similarly we have a putable bond we have a putable bond okay consider that current market price of the bond is 99 consider that current market price of the bond is 99 and the bond is putable at dollar 95 bond is putable at dollar 95 and currently the interest rate in the market is say 7.7.4% clear 7.4% now the interest in the market interest rate in the market shoots up suppose it shoots up to 12% it shoots up to 12% and because it shoots up to 12% the value of the bond in the market is now okay if i am talking about a straight bond it is currently trading at say $92 it is currently trading at $92 means the value of the bond got reduced but still because i am holding a putable bond i can sell that bond at 95 i can sell that bond at 95 now what i am doing what i am doing i got my 95 dollars i will invest that money i will invest that money in the new bonds which are offering me the current interest rate of 12% clear so the bond holder if he holds a putable bond what he wants he wants interest rates to go up clear he wants interest rates to go up suppose i am a bond holder and i have a callable bond 
do i want interest rate to go down no because if interest rate will go down issuer will call the bonds and i have to give him the bond and he will pay me the money and now i got the money and i need to invest it at a lower rates because the interest rate in the markets are very low clear so can you can you say one thing from this discussion can you say one thing from this discussion that for a putable bond for a putable putable bond there is a there is a limit there is a limit at the lower end there is a limit at the lower end means the price cannot fall below that okay means right now price cannot fall below that price cannot fall below that clear similarly do you have the intuition for the callable bond callable bond that price cannot move above that price cannot move above that because you have the right to buy at 102 why will you pay 104 you have the right to buy 102 why will you pay 104 similarly putable bond you have the right to sell the bonds at 95 dollars why will you sell the bond at 92 try to connect your derivative intuition with the callable and putable bonds when you have the right to call the bonds at 90 sorry when you have the right to call the bonds at 102 okay you have the right to call the bonds at 102 clear why will you pay 104 similarly when you have the right to receive 95 dollars why will you receive 92 dollars clear putable bonds comes when the interest rates will increase callable bonds comes when interest rates decrease clear the intuition the knowledge till that time is clear okay when i am drawing a tree okay now i am just giving a small intuition so that you can understand the point which i am trying to discuss okay if you are drawing a tree if you are drawing a tree say 4% then 5% 3% now this is the current interest rate tree and after doing this you got the bond value as 94 you got the bond value as 94 now the interest rate increased now the interest rate shoots up interest rate shoots up and you are holding a putable bond you are holding a putable bond clear now interest rate suppose over here shoots up to 8% and over here it shoots up to say 5% and this also suppose okay let us uh, remain this 4% as it is but this 8% and this 5% shoots up now because of the interest rate shoots up the price of the bond today came down to 89 price of the bond today came down to 89 and you have a putable bond and it is putable at say 92 dollars it is putable at 92 dollars so you have the right to sell the bond at 92 you have the right to sell the bond at 92 so means you are safe when interest rate will increase you are safe when interest rate will increase clear when write down when if you are holding a putable bond and interest rates and interest rate got reduced interest rate got reduced means the value of the bond got increased value of the bond got increased so you have to think that you have to think that if today i sell the bond if today i sell the bond at a higher price but i get the money i get the money but that money i need to invest at a lower market rates clear or or i should hold the bonds or i should hold the bonds hold the bond to earn to earn same coupon same coupon which is higher as compared to the current market but when the interest rate will rise but when interest rate will rise try to think if you hold the bond if you hold the bond currently it is giving you coupon of 8% currently it is giving you the coupon of say 8% and currently the ytm in the market currently the ytm in the market is 10% so means what you are getting 8 and the interest in the market is 10 what you will do you are going to put the bond you are going to put the bond and take the money take the money and invested at higher rates invested at higher rates clear so when interest rates will increase when interest rate will increase what you should do 
you should put the bond in front of the company take your money invest it at higher rates clear similarly similarly we operate a callable bond clear similarly we operate a callable bond clear in the callable bond company have the right to call the bond at 102 clear this is the interest rate tree say 5 6 4 now the interest rate in the market got reduced clear reduced in the sense say it reduced to 5 percent and it reduced to say 3% clear suppose the interest rate in the market got reduced now when interest rate will reduce suppose the market price which came earlier was say 101 but now because the interest rate got reduced this came down to 103 so when the company has the right to call the bond in 102 clear why why they will pay 103 to take that bond also when they will pay 102 they can take the new money at the lower interest rate in the market they can take the money at the lower interest rate in the market so till now till now i have given you a brief idea okay a brief understanding that how actually this callable and putable bond is going to work also what are the three main area we are going to study in this particular lecture clear